August 15, 2022, Daily Bread. Passage Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 through verse 16. Key verse 4. Title, Unity in the Body of Christ. As a prisoner for the Lord, then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. This is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But to each of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. This is why it says, When he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean, except that he also descended to the lower, earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens, in order to fill the whole universe. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers to equip his people for works of service, so that the body of Christ may be built up. Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants, tossed back and forth by the waves, and blown here and there by every wind of teaching, and by the cunning and craftiness of people and their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is, Christ. From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Daily Bread Message Paul urges them to be united so that his chains of imprisonment may not be in vain. To do so, they must be completely humble and gentle, be patient and bear with one another in love. This strenuous effort to keep unity through the Holy Spirit brings peace. And this peace unites the body as one. We are one in spirit and one in hope. We have one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all. These are all the reasons why Christians must be united. Paul explains that we each have a precious role in the church, which is given through Christ's grace. When he ascended from the dead, he broke the curse and restored spiritual gifts to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers. These different gifts equip the church body for works of service. Together we build up the church, become unified, and attain maturity in Christ. When we are united and work together, the church is no longer unstable or easily deceived by false teachers. Rather, we speak the truth in love and become mature with Christ as the head of the church, working together in love. Prayer Father, thank you for giving us real unity in Christ. Help me to be mature in faith be united with other believers, and strengthen the body of Christ. One word, mature and united in the body of Christ.